Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad. Today we are reviewing the Phoenix M2. Uh, it is a security camera system. It is wireless, but not Wi-Fi. Let me explain. There is multiple bundles available on the website of Defenders. Uh, you can buy a two pack, three pack or four pack of cameras. Uh, and now I have the two pack. So the Phoenix M2 is wireless, but it is non Wi-Fi. It's truly plug and play for the non techies. You just plug the screen and the two cameras in power outlets and it will work out of the box. Uh, it is wireless, like I said, on a private network and the connection is really good. Uh, my screen is in the basement and my cameras are outdoor and I have a good connection. The cameras have a good quality build to them. It comes with uh, also an SD card. So this is all the other feature. So we will begin the unboxing. By the way, I have an affiliate link below uh, with a 90% off coupon. So use it if you want. So in the box, you will find the instructions, uh, everything that you need to make this work. You'll also get all the mounting hardwares uh, to fix this on your home. Also two antennas, because like I said earlier, it is wireless and an SD card. Personally, I got 16 gig, which is I think the, the base option that they have, but sometimes they run some promotion like right now where you can get 128 gig, for example. On each side of the box, you will find the cameras. I have two in this bundle. They are made of aluminum. Here we have the PR detection. This is the IR night vision. Near my left thumb is the speaker. Sorry for the slow motion. And at the rear, it's the antenna connection. Before we look at the main device, you have all the DC adapters that you need for this product, one per device. So this is the main screen and recording unit. Uh, it connects wirelessly to the cameras and you need to use this. You cannot use anything else. On top, you have the motion detection and recording button. Uh, power button and the volume because we have two-way audio uh, on the front we have from uh, left to right we have the cam button so with this you can switch between cameras here i have cam one and cam two so one indoor and one outside uh, for this video uh, at his right we have the views button uh, here we can choose how we want to view the cameras so here i have a dual screen or a single camera screen uh, very easy to use as you can see after that there is a sleep button and a zoom button the zoom button is really to uh, to zoom in uh, on, on the image you have to be I think in the single camera view and you press on the button and you have uh, uh, some digital view zoom so that's about it and finally we have the delete button uh, to delete some recording for example and the menu button we will go more in depth into the menu button so the first option is the alert by the way you don't get any notifications to your smartphone here this is not a wi-fi product it does not connect to your router or the internet it will beep uh, if you want to when it detects something here we have the video motion detect that you can select some parameters for the day or the night after that, we have the settings. Uh, when you click on that, you have the basic settings that you can change. Uh, next option is the camera settings. And the last option is the recording options. So here you can change how this will record your videos. On the right of the device, we have the talk button. This has two-way audio, like I said earlier, and a SD card slot to, to put the SD card. So on the back, you have the speaker and I think the microphone on the top left here, but I'm not sure. The two-way audio on this product works well. There's a bit of static sometimes, but uh, really it's loud and I didn't have any like problem with it. The date at the bottom is not good. We are in November, not October, so it's now snowing. And yes, I'm in Montreal, but it doesn't snow in October typically. <laughs> so here, as you can see, the resolution is not great. It is not HD. It does the job on the screen itself. It's only a seven inch uh, screen. It's not like high resolution. It really does the job to uh, check directly on the device. But if you export uh, the video like I I'm doing here on your computer, just by taking the SD card out and uh, reading it on your computer, you will get 
that low resolution here as you can see it looks like better it's not perfect but it does the job but if you want to be able to zoom in to see faces and things like that it's not the product for you so now i'm using my hand to block the light as you can see we have rr lights and you'll get black and white night vision like on the left screen here it's clear it's as clear as in the day if you want to the resolution is still low so the phoenix m2 does exactly what it is supposed to do it's according to specs and the experience that i had with it was great but you have to understand the limitations this does not connect to the wi-fi so no smartphone integration you need power outlets to connect the cameras and finally the resolution is not hd if defender can create a similar product with batteries for the cameras and hd resolution that will be a great product thank you all it was tech that see you next time ciao